Okay, so we just finished this fourth problem here. All right, here's what she looks like. All done and everything. Now we're gonna move on to number seven. Now one thing I wanted to say earlier is that when you finish a problem, leave a line in between that last one and the next one. Okay, if you have to use a lot of paper, that's fine. You can write on the back of your sheets and stuff. You cram it all together, it gets really hard to read. Um, so try to keep things spaced out, okay? All right, let's go on to the next page, number seven. <clears throat> okay, again, on this page, there is a um, example problem. It's worked out for you. Okay, and then there's practice problems, seven, eight, and nine. All right, let's do number seven. After the house and the sample problem has been set on the truck bed, the truck accelerates until it reaches a constant speed. If the force required to move the house horizontally at a distance of 75.5 meters, is 3,150 newtons. How much work has been done on the house? Okay, so let's go ahead and write our givens and what we're trying to find. Okay, so my given, <clears throat> my first given is going to be um, a distance. So we'll use D for distance equals 75.5 meters. Okay, use M for meters. And the force is 3,150 newtons. All right, it says the force required is blah, blah. Okay, so we know. All right, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find how much work is done on the house. Okay, so let me bring this back over here. All right, we just put in our givens. All right, we got two givens. D equals, F equals, and our find. Now, I didn't put a unit there yet, but we will in a little while. All right, now this is actually pretty simple. We're going to use, again, the equation work equals force times distance. Okay. You know, I usually like to use a, a, a dot instead of an X. Because to me, an X looks like, you know, the algebraic X, Y. So I like to use that. All right, work equals force times distance. Now, in this case, we are trying to find work. So all we have to do is plug our values in. We don't need to rearrange this equation. It's already set up the way we need it. So 3,150 newtons times 75.5 meters. Okay. Now a newton times a meter, I said earlier that a joule equals a newton times a meter. Am I off the page? I'm off the page. Okay, a joule is a newton times a meter. So when we multiply a newton times a meter, we're going to get a joule. All right, so my unit down here is going to be a joule, which use capital J. All right, where did my calculator go? Okay, now this is easy, right? Just type in 3150 times 75, whoops, on 3150 times 75.5 equals 237,825 joules, okay? And again, I want you to put a box around your answer. All right. Again, let's assign points to this thing. Okay. One point for the first given, one point for the second given, one point for saying this is what we're going to find. Okay. It needs to say given, blah, blah, find, blah. Okay. Um, work on the equation is going to be worth a point. Putting the info into the equation is worth a point. So this line right here is worth a point. And then the answer is worth three points. One for telling me what you found, one for the correct number, and one for the correct unit. All right? So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight points for that one. Okay. And the one above, I didn't actually count them up, but it should be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Eight points for that one. So each of the problems that you're doing are going to be worth eight points. All right. And there's like 15 of them. So eight times 15, the total assignment will be worth 120 points. And remember, you can get seven out of eight just by going through and writing down the stuff that you're given, the equation you're going to use, and then plugging those values in the equation. All right. If you make the wrong, if you get the wrong answer on your calculator, it's only one point out of eight. All right. That's it. Uh, I'm going to do another recording here in a second to show you how to use your um, calculator and the scientific notation on it.